Hello YouTube, and hello Darth Azabrush. That's right, I'm stealing your intro a second time for this 800 sub extravaganza. So I recently broke 800 subscribers and um, this actually happened a while back, but then there was a subscriber purge. I actually stayed above 800 the whole time, so nifty. But Logic was the first person to notice, so Logic gets an extra special eagle eye shout out. Everyone stop by his channel if you're not already subscribed. Now, I specifically want to mention a new friend of mine, Milan Jeftik, 1992. He does a lot of uh, very insightful videos regarding, um, I guess you'd say pop culture, but um, comic books, comic book worlds, comic book thinking, and uh, I'm going to link a couple of his videos below. Um, he's a really nice guy, and he has a terrific accent. So please, if, if you're interested in comic books, storytelling, and kind of... Um, a nerd worldview, then um, then see what's going on on his channel. Now I was tagged um, actually months ago by Spino Breaker. So Spino Breaker, my apologies. Um, he put this tag video up and got no love on it whatsoever. So I'm going to pick this up as if it was my tag in the first place and pass it on to uh, some nerdy friends. Um, if anyone else wants to jump on, you're, you're free to, you're open to. But the tag is, what are three superpowers um, that you would want to have? You can make yourself a superhero or supervillain. What are the powers that you would throw together? And um, I gotta say for me, I've, I've always uh, been most fascinated with uh, Jean Grey's power set. To begin with, you have to have flight. In a world of superheroes, if you can't fly, you're just you're one of those kids in high school who doesn't have a car. You're always playing tag along. You've got to find someone to get you where everyone else is going to show up to the party. Um, if you can fly, you're one of the cool kids. Now, with telekinesis, you could say that flight is just a subset of the telekinesis, um, but I throw that in as, as its own power. Um, I kind of get that from having played City of Heroes, where, you know, when you get up to, I think it's 20th level, I haven't played in so long. When you get up to 20th level, you get a movement power, and that's something that begins to set you apart from the amateur costume vigilante to make you an actual hero is your movement power. And all the all the noobs will look up to the person who can just take off and rocket into the air. Um, but telekinesis is also uh, quite a cool power to have. Um, but primarily of interest, I think, is the telepathy. Um, I've always been fascinated by people and what's going on in their mind. And uh, in terms of a battle power, it's not as visual, but if you can get inside somebody's head, then you've already won the battle. Um, and I think that's kind of like the next step metaphorically forward from the kinds of battles that we actually engage in uh, on YouTube and in life with uh, the, the way we, we spar back and forth. So if I could more literally do combat with people's ideas, um, then that would that would make me the kind of superhuman I kind of envision myself to be in my own fantasies. All right, so I haven't said uh, thank you to anyone specifically for a subscription for, for quite some time. I just haven't been as active on YouTube as I was in the past. Um, but I want to say it again, I appreciate the subscriptions, um, the comments, and the feedback that I get. You know, YouTube is a, uh, a media of participation. And 
for everyone who has participated in the conversations, uh, you guys are awesome and it makes it worth making videos and, and sticking around. So cheers.